In our family, we have read aloud time in the evenings, but our read aloud time is with the girls, with mom, and the boy is with dad. So I'm going to share with you some books that I've enjoyed reading to my daughters that all have wonderful role model, girl role models for them to look up to. The Railway Children is about a family of three kids, two girls and one boy. We're reading this right now. This is an Osborne Illustrated Original. Really beautiful pictures are included and we're in the middle of this classic by Edith Nesbitt right now. We finished Understood Betsy a little while ago, and it is the sweetest story. I hadn't read it before I read it aloud to my girls, and we just delighted in Betsy. Elizabeth is an orphan, and she grows up with these really dramatic aunts and then is sent away to live with some distant cousins. It's a beautiful story of awakening to who you are and making some family sacrifices. I love that. We also read Misty of Cinquetique by Margaret Henry, or Marguerite Henry. She wrote many horse books. If you have a horse lover, I highly recommend these beautiful books written a while ago with beautiful illustrations and prose text. Who doesn't love the classic Anne of Green Gables? We actually listened to this one on Audible and then my daughter got a hold of this Osborne original. She loved looking at all the illustrations and she read it herself again. Even though this text was a little bit difficult for her, she loved going through it. I love looking at some historical books that have female protagonists such as uh, Sarah Plain and Tall, which is a beautiful book about a, a mail-away bride, actually. And this woman, she becomes the mom to these, to these children, and it's a very, very beautiful and sweet story. We also love The Courage of Sarah Noble, who comes and to live with her dad in the New England area, and what she does to... to have courage and in the early 1700s when there's a time of unrest. Sarah Witcher's story is a true story of a little girl's bravery. She goes out at night and she just might befriend a bear. A really sweet story. And we also love The Cabin Faced West with Anne Hamilton. Her family is in Tennessee and they have moved west from Gettysburg. That is, was west at the time and all the adventures she faces and trials. Strawberry Girl, Lois Lenski has written many books, mostly with female protagonists. I highly recommend you're finding them at a local library or used book sale because you can't find them very much. This one is about a little girl named Birdie who lives in Florida and she has some new neighbors who are not very nice or she's new to town and her neighbors are not very nice or cordial and all that her family goes through <laughs> and the boy next door in that adventure it is very very sweet we also loved reading a little princess and heidi um, francis hodgson burnett also wrote the secret garden which i also recommend the secret garden actually talks a lot about magic so just want to forewarn you if that's something that you um, don't read about with your kids but a little princess is a lovely book and it's a bit historical about life in london in i'd say about the mid 1800s and this sweet little girl she was a princess but then when her uh, she loses all her money how she's treated at the boarding house she lives at lastly heidi i favor this is a very old copy with beautiful old illustrations we read this and then we were able to watch the the movie version actually the same was for a little princess in the secret garden i love to read a book with the kids and then they get to watch the show translation by helen dole of course it was originally written by johanna spirey from um in swiss so i love this version and it is just the most beautiful story every child needs to read heidi this is great for boys too actually my son was present when we read this as a family read aloud so this is the one exception he loved it and there is a, a boy protagonist who is a great character too 
So hopefully that encourages you to sit down and read with your children and just explore these characters and have lifelong friends that you all can relate to together.